Jeff here with you again this week with Co-op Student Hannah. Uh, I thought this week we need to go back and review uh, uh, your proper ergonomic setup for your uh, sitting desk, but we're, today we're actually going to talk as well about a standing desk. So the most important part about the workstation setup is actually the chair. You want to make sure that you have a very comfortable chair that has a high back with a lumbar support. If it doesn't come with a lumbar support, you want to make sure that you have a pillow or a rolled up towel or jacket that you can put there. You want to make sure that it can go up and down as well as the seat can kind of rock back and forth as well. And to make sure that it comes with armrests where your elbows can rest comfortably. So when you're setting up your workstation, the first thing you want to do is make sure you get the chair height right. Um, so I make the, sure the chair is high enough that when your nice relaxed shoulders and your elbows are on the armrest, that your arms are going to be at 90 degrees. And that's going to tell us how high your chair should be. Sometimes this might be a little high for some people, so we actually get a stack of uh, papers or a box or something to put your feet on because you don't want your feet dangling uh, above the floor. So the next thing you want to make sure is the monitor height. So we want the monitor to be an arm's length away from our face as well as um, at eye level. So the top of the monitor should be right at our eye level. Sometimes when people wear bifocals or if the lighting is off, they tilt it about 20 degrees backwards. Just because with bifocals you're looking out the bottom of the glasses so it might be harder to see. So if you use two monitors for either school or work, you want to make sure that the monitor that you use the most is directly in front of you with the other one to the side. If you use both of them equally, make sure that they are in a Z position right in front of you. So if you're using a laptop, you want to make sure that it's still an arm's length away as well as at the eye level. So that means getting a laptop stand or if you don't have access to that, using books or a stack, uh, stack of paper. Um, you also want to make sure that you have a Bluetooth keyboard or, and mouse just so you're not reaching forward to reach the laptop keyboard. So once you get your monitor set up, the next thing you want to do is make sure you get the keyboard set up properly. So we've already talked about having nice relaxed shoulders, elbows on the armrest, uh, and that should be tell you where your keyboard should be in front of you. Um, some people will find they get a little uh, wrist pad to, to wrist their, their uh, uh, wrists on, uh, to support their wrists so that they're not holding the wrists all day long. Uh, when you have your mouse, the mouse should be very close to your keyboard, uh, very reachable. You won't be reaching out here and moving around. Uh, nice, easy movements using your wrist and your elbow. Uh, if you're using the phone, have the phone on the non-dominant side. Uh, if you're using the phone a lot, uh, get a headset so you're not always cradling the, uh, uh, the phone in your ear and having to, have to work on it that way. So we talked a little bit about sitting desks. Now we're going to transition into standing desks. So a lot of people thought that standing desks were better for you. However, it's been shown that having standing and sitting desk mixed together is actually better for you than just standing or sitting. So when it comes to standing and sitting desks, there's a lot of debate out there how much time you should spend standing and how much time you spend sitting. Um, the one study I read uh, kind of said a 70-30 and that's, that's uh, kind of the, the go-to. So 70% of the time uh, standing versus 30% of the time sitting. But anything between 50 to 70% uh, standing versus 30 to 50% sitting uh, is probably optimal. The whole idea is we want to get you changing postures because uh, one thing they have found is that you know standing for a long period of time is just as unhealthy for your back and your knees and, and your metabolism as, as, as sitting for the whole day. So the actual setup for a standing desk is very similar to a sitting desk. So the monitor is still going to be at eye level and an arm's length away and our elbows are still going to be bent at 90 degrees comfortably with um, our wrists neutral as well and some people will still use the wrist pad under their wrist for more comfort. So when, when you're at a standing desk, sometimes standing desks don't go up and down or it's a pain to get up and down. Uh, if you want to sit at it, the one thing you can do is go and get a drafting chair. A uh, drafting chair is generally high enough uh, of a stool that it can go up and down and get you high enough so that when you're sitting at a standing desk, you're actually high enough to be in the ergonomic position. So another important thing about uh, whether you're standing or whether you're sitting uh, at desk is, is movement. Uh, and there was a phrase out there saying, uh, you know, sitting is the new smoking. Uh, not really true, but that's kind of the phrase that's out there. What they're trying to say is that if you sit too long, what can happen is your metabolism starts to slow down and starts to clog up. Uh, and that can lead to early things such as diabetes or early heart disease, early death, stroke, things like that. So they say to counteract that, we want to get you moving. So it doesn't take much. They say that between every 30 and 40 minutes, you should get up and, and, and burn energy for one flight of stairs. So whether that's just going to the water cooler or to the bathroom, uh, just taking 30 seconds to a minute 
uh, to move around. And that actually kind of kickstarts the metabolism and gets so it doesn't get all clogged up and kind of slow down on you. All right, so we're going to evaluate Dr. Jeff's posture here at the desk. So first thing we're going to look at is, are his hips 90 degrees? So if we look here, we can see that they are. Now the most important thing is a chair height. So it was a little high, so we had to put some paper under his feet to make sure that his feet were flat. Um, are his elbows at a good position? They're at 90 degrees here, resting comfortably on the armrest. We can see his wrists are in neutral position on the keyboard. He brought the keyboard to him to so make sure that he's not extending his arms forward. We can see that his back is straight here with a lumbar support pillow. Um, is the monitor an arm's length away, Jeff? Perfect. And is it at eye level? We can check here. And we see that it is. So I'm ready to work. So hope you enjoyed our review on your uh, ergonomic uh, sitting desk. And we also include a little bit on the uh, standing desk today as well. Again, if you really like our video, you can always share it. Give us a big thumbs up. Uh, as always, uh, if you have any topics you'd like to, uh, to talk to us about, we will be more than happy to discuss it with you. You can always send it to us at jgoldsworthy at goldswithywallace.com or you can send it to us via Facebook. As always, with, uh, with intern Hannah um, here at Goldsworthy Chiropractic, we've always got your back.